All right, you guys, welcome back. Uh, in our last video, we went ahead and checked out our 4K capture utility for the capture area. We went over uh, basically everything that's on this main screen right here. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and check out our library section and how that can help us go ahead and check out the videos that we've recorded in the past. So uh, we are gonna go ahead and click on library. And this is your actual game library. This is the area that you've got to uh, check out all the videos that you've recorded in the past. Now I've recorded a couple of them and I just wanted to go ahead and share that here. Um, all of this stuff is basically much more advanced than the library that you had in older software, but it may be a little bit harder to find at times uh, if you're not used to it. Again, I've only been playing around with this for like a day and a half and uh, I've gotten the hang of it now, but let's go ahead and jump into it. So over on the left side, you've got all of your different categories. You can start from all the videos that you've ever recorded you can select some of your favorites, which I do have one as a favorite because we won a game in Warzone, which uh, does not happen that often for us. We've got anything that has live commentary, which that one did have my own commentary on it. So of course that's gonna be live. Uh, you can also go by games, which is actually really cool, I think. Um, again, at the, at the very beginning where I showed you guys on the capture side, you can click on this I button here and change what game you're playing at the time. So if you're recording uh, some Warzone, you can title that Warzone. If you're playing uh, Borderlands 3, you can title that Borderlands 3. And that's what this area over here is for. So right now I've got one recording um, from the Demon's Tote, which I just recorded to have something extra to show you guys. And then we've got Warzone. And then we've also got tags. Now you can put as many tags or as many of the different types of tags you want for each one of the games. I've told you uh, on Warzone here lately, I've been playing with family, so I've got two of those videos. And then uh, for pinball, that's what I put for uh, um, for Demon's Tote. It's a pinball game, kind of makes sense. Now after that, you can also have smart folders, which this kind of separates things on its own for you. So you've got everything that's captured in 4K, which I have not been capturing in 4K. You've got long 4K videos, which I don't really have any. And then you've got short videos and small videos. So short videos, I'm not really sure what that is. This one right here is uh, 45 seconds. Okay, okay. Short videos and small videos are... Mm -mm, I don't know what the difference between those two are. But that doesn't really matter. The important thing is that as long as you're trying to name your videos and title them correctly as well as add tags to them, you can go ahead and find the games that you want pretty much immediately. So I've got everything here. now. Um, a whole lot of the time whenever I am playing games, I usually just title them gameplay because that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing some gameplay, possibly going to use some of that recording for something else. But if you, for example, do something awesome, you can actually change some of that information here on the library side as well. So here is a war zone that we had, and uh, this is a win. Um, I obviously want to go ahead and keep that. So if you want to change that, you can actually change the title of that post after you've recorded it. So if you click on the I on each individual one here, you can change the title. Again, we won on this one, so I wanted to change it, wanted to make sure that we kept it. And then um, you can also go ahead and put a star on it to put it as one of your favorites. Now, all of these extra ones are just extra stuff that I had. You don't really... Uh, I don't know, I didn't really have a reason to record them, just wanted to use them as examples. So um, again, if you wanted to change any of the information on here, you can go ahead and do that after the fact that you go ahead and record it. But also on top of that, if you don't need it, like I said, these two are just example posts. Uh, you can just click on the trash can here and you can get rid of those from your library. That way you're not taking up too much space in your computer. So I think that's really, really cool. Um, you also have this tab pretty much here along the top so you can go ahead and change them however you want I guess I shouldn't have deleted those other ones yet, but uh, it's pretty much the exact same thing You've got duration here uh, the date the size and the format. So that's pretty cool I'm just gonna leave that on title for right now uh, over on the top right You've got search. So if I was searching for another video, let me just go ahead and record my screen here uh, Let's go ahead and name this uh, blah why not Blah. And of course, like I said, I always leave the title as gameplay unless I need to change it later on. So we're going to hit, hit save here. We're going to record two or three seconds of this. It's not really a big deal. Then once that's done, if, you, if I had a lot of videos here and if I was looking for one specifically that I know how I named it, I could just go ahead and type in blah and that will pull up whichever video it is that you're looking for. So I think that's really cool. 
Uh, you've also got your view. You can view them in blocks like this, or you can view them as a list. You guys can see that here. Um, I actually like the block list a little bit better. And that's pretty much all we've got here on the library side. Again, I'm just going over the software because uh, I've only been messing with it for a little bit. Kind of wanted to walk you guys through it. But uh, for the most part, that's pretty much it. Now, in our next video, we're going to be going over some of the settings, which I was really surprised by compared to the last uh, Elgato software that we had. I feel like maybe the settings might be missing a little bit of something, but we'll go ahead and talk about that in the next video. So if you guys are enjoying this series, once again, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time.